Hello all of my gorgeous angels and devils, today I am playing a new Minecraft horror map called The Miner. This is the sequel to The Mine, so if you didn't see that video, I will leave the link in the description box. I didn't finish it because I broke the game. <laughs> I always do something wrong, so I didn't get to finish the end of it, but I got pretty far in that game. But we're gonna play the next part. So it says, rest in peace, Douglas, and I have two books. We have Warning Read Me. If you suffer from epileptic seizures or get nauseous from la flashing lights or suffer like that, I recommend you don't play this map because it has flashing lights, images on the screen. You have been warned. So there you go. So we know there's going to be jump scares and flashing lights. Douglas McCormick was just a miner who lived in a small village, but to the people who knew him, he was a nice guy who wanted a pay raise. On his last day on the job, he was brutally murdered. However, his body was never found as well as his killer. In the coffin you see before you lies his most valuable possessions to show he is still loved. Even though almost no one ever comes down here anymore, the few that still remember him, including me, want you to take a moment to remember. We need a moment of silence. <laughs> Douglas McCormick, sincerely, Henry and Marcus. And here it is, which we're not allowed to get into. So, yeah. What is up here? I don't know. We're not allowed up there yet. So, I got the resource pack check. I got the rules. Here are the credits. This map was made by King, Darren, and pretty much no one else. <laughs> okay. Well, then, let's start. The Miner. Dun, dun, dun. Playing this in night two, so... If I had the lights off... That would be even worse. <laughs> but I'm not gonna turn the lights off. Sounds like we're in a movie. My gosh, we're in a movie. I am starring in a movie right now. Whoa. Okay. Well, here we go for the last time. My last day after three years. I'm finally done with this night guard job. My new job is tomorrow morning, and I only have to get through this night. I just hope I won't have to put up with the problems I had last night. Yes, you will. You know you will, boy. You know it. You think there's gonna be no problems. You're lying to yourself. We're already back in the maze. Is it the same as the last game? Like, because I might be able to remember how to get to it. Employee storage. <gasps> A wooden pickaxe! A bunch of wooden pickaxes! Oh my goodness! <gasps> An iron pickaxe! Whoa, okay. I don't need these anymore. I'm gonna just grab... Where's that stone? I'm gonna grab one of... Okay. Okay, I have two pickaxes. The document says checkout log. Samuel, Ricks, Wendy. Okay. Douglas is checked in. That one guy? Question mark. I can't hang it up. I took it with me. I always take the paintings with me. Looks like no name didn't leave. Again. This is the second time I've sent two letters to my boss, Mr. Van Deuce, regarding firing him. But he's probably just dumped them in a random chest. Oh well, better go find him. He could literally be anywhere. They don't pay me enough to do the stupid job anyway. Oh, great. Stupid guy. What the heck? Those are so cool. They're stone creep. Whoa. 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 Ah! Oh my gosh. Beware. Oh my goodness. Why? Why would you do this to me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Already a jump scare. Gosh, these games, they frighten me so much. Creepy painting guy. Okay, what is this red carpet looking thing? Mr. Van Deuce's office. A bunch of books. An award, another award. They're all awards. Bunch of award awards. Can I take you? I don't know what... What is that? A pen? Nothing at all? Really? There's nothing in here? What about his head? Should I take his head with me? Do I need it? Do I? I don't know. We'll take it with me. Oh, look at that beautiful st Stop here, O'Brien! What the? Damn it, get back here! I was about to enjoy my nice sandwich! And here O'Brien steps in. What the hell? Dear Mr. Van Deuce, wait, is this like... Dear Mr. Van Deuce, I struggle... Oh my gosh, this is the one that we read last time. Yeah. 
So it is like the exact same thing. So this over here will be when like we go into the, yeah, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We gotta go find Herobrine. Let's go get him. What is he doing? What are you doing here, Brian? I'm gonna enjoy my sandwich real quick. I'm a little hungry. That's not even filling me up. Gosh, two sandwiches and a potato. That's a lot. <laughs> I just ate a lot. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna end up dying before the end of this. Um, I'm not even allowed floodgates. Really? There's nothing, oh. About to say, I just saw him go this way. Is it a lie? Like, really? I'd be mad if that was a lie. But it wasn't. Can I sleep? I'm not allowed. Another book. Hmm. Oh, a few books. Okay. Let's read Two White Eyes. A person dies, a child cries. Beware the one with two white eyes. You're not safe, nor anyone. Does don't trust them, don't hide from them. If he wants your mind, he will take it. Though you may not be safe at all, one day he will fall, only to get back up again. The cycle will never end. I fear he has come for me. What is that I see? Two white eyes at the end of my bed, trying to sever me. A person dies, a child cries. Beware the one with two white eyes. Goodbye. <laughs> well, okay, and then please help. I'm afraid we have awoken something ferocious. Everyone in my crew has gone insane except me, but my sanity is decreasing. I can't even spell right. Everyone is huddling in fear. I try to cal try to calm them down, but they keep saying that the two white eyes are coming for them. I understand that this may be the work of a disease, but something tells me that something was down here and wants to be alone. My crew says that they have seven days until the till he comes. I need help. Jeez, that started, that started to get difficult to read. <laughs> Let's go up this ladder. No? I don't think I can. Well, then where am I supposed to go? I guess I'm not allowed to break the wood. Maybe I have to go and find... Wait, can I even get out? I hope I can get out this way. Oh, okay, I can get out. I didn't think I was going to be able to. And then I'd be stuck down there forever. Where am I supposed to go? We were already there. Okay, so these are the... Yeah, these are blocked again. This over here, let's go to this chest. Is it gonna have... Okay, I was thinking it's gonna have the same books, but I guess not. We have to go and get that tool that allows us to get over there. Unless I might not even have to go that way. And it might all be new. I don't know. I'm gonna starve to death, though. That's a problem. <laughs> okay, yeah, this, they might be. Yeah, I think they're the same books. I'm pretty sure they're the same books that we already read in the last one. This is gonna be bad when I start to starve to death. <laughs> Hopefully there's food up here with, in the kitchen. Well, there's probably gonna be a jump scare somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere. I think I, like, expected it last time and it didn't happen. So, we'll see. I don't know. Well, nothing happened. <laughs> okay, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Seriously? Oh my gosh. I saw him in the mirror and I was like, holy shit. Okay. Oh my gosh. Please say that there is food in here. I'm starving. A carrot. I need you, carrot. Please. No! Give me my head back. I guess I'm not allowed to have the head. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, some carrots and potatoes. A knife. Yes! Yes, more sandwiches! Yay, 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 yay! Thank goodness. I'm starving here. <laughs> Wait, why am I eating that when I have 20 sandwiches? Wait, there's no point. Let's just... <laughs> Why waste our sandwiches? Right? Right? Am I right? I'd rather switch you, but... I guess it doesn't matter. Um... Yeah. Well, Hero Brian's up here, so let's get our knife out. And go find him. Wait. Oh, I thought one of the blocks were missing there. But it's not. I really don't know what to do, though. <gasps> Is that him over there? Do you see that? 
Here's the path clear. Okay. I thought I had to grab that, but it just wouldn't let me. All right, now we can finally clear this path. Yay. And we have a wooden safety first. I'm not worried about no safety. <laughs> Let's get rid of what needs to be getting rid of and where is the button? Right there. Go. <laughs> it didn't want to go. I'm gonna keep my knife out. You never know. Well, he might appear anywhere. We don't want that to go back. Oh my gosh. Let's see, things are appearing. <laughs> I knew it. Watch your brown like stop me and send me back. I swear. You better not. We were told to go back, but who listens? No, no, no. Okay. That is why you bring an extra one. <laughs> I don't even know if it's possible for that to go back though. Okay, so oh this is actually clear. Before there was cobwebs. Let's go over here because there is there usually is notes. All right, they took all of like most of the notes out. I'm gonna keep my knife out. There might be a jump scare waiting to happen. And I have to be ready for anything. Okay, nothing. I guess I just gotta clear the path. Okay, they will die tonight. Okay, oh shit. <laughs> What the? Hey! I've had about enough of you! Get over here! Oh my goodness. Get back. Did he go this way? Do I have to go this way? Oh no. What? 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 Oh no. I <laughs> need to leave <laughs> a note. I don't even have a note. Oh, okay, so there, it's, I'm writing this because I don't know how much time I have until he finds me. It's him. He's here and he's not human. He has been, he has been building power each day and plotting to kill us, but I can't escape. I'm too far from the entrance and if I try to get out, I'm afraid he'll find me. Please, if I don't make it out alive, tell my co-workers to run away from this place and never come back. I think I see him. He's here. Help! Can I move now? <laughs> Hi, Douglas. Oh my gosh. Am I supposed to... What? What just happened? Oh my gosh. What? Ouch. Uh, my head. Where am I? Am I dreaming? What the hell? No. 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 Get away. Goodbye. Bye bye. Sorry, Douglas, but I have a job to do. I was beheaded. I died. Well, what was I supposed to do? <laughs> Hero Brian stripped you of your flesh and gave you amnesia. But you survived. Whoa, I did? The end? That is uh, definitely not the end. That not the end. That's a lie. That a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. What? Okay. Let's read the story. The story all starts back in the early 70s where Spencer Van Deuce sent a team of seven members to mine underground on the property he had recently bought. They were supposed to return in one week, however, they all had mysteriously disappeared. The place they mined at was the room filled with beds, chests, and furnaces above the drainage system. Even though his workers were possibly dead, he began building his mine. But what killed his workers, you may ask? Well, Hero Brian. He had been living underground for hundreds of years unnoticed, but when people started mining there, he tried to drive them away by killing them. That didn't work. Van Deuce's workers dug more and more, and Hero Brian got weaker and weaker. It took him nine years to get enough strength to appear again, but he had a plan. He would employ himself as a newbie at the mine to gain entrance to it sus unsuspiciously. He stayed after hours at that altar, gaining energy to become full power again. During the night shift, Douglas just attempted Hero Brian was at full power. He just needed to wait a few more minutes before he could kill anyone. When he could, he tried to kill Douglas. He stripped him of his flesh and thought that he was dead, but Douglas lived with a bad case of amnesia. The next day, the workers found Douglas's blood and guts sprawled out on the floor and realized that 
what had happened. They defeated Herobrine, trapped him in the mine, and fled. They never found Douglas, but he made his way over to employee storage and lived there after he had a horrible dream that Herobrine beheaded them. What happened after that? That's a whole new story. Continued in the mine. Play it. It's already out. <laughs> okay, well, I played the mine. <laughs> Special thanks to Strike08, the NES on YouTube, for spreading the word about the map. Check him out on YouTube. Video's coming soon. And then we have Conscious. You may be wondering what Conscious was. Well, he was an illusion. There is a theory that if your subconscious knows something terrible is about to happen, it tries to notify you through visual and auditory illusions. Your subconscious knew Hero Brown was going to attack you, so it created a yellow skeletal creature to alert you about the crisis. But just like all other recorded encounters, it failed. Conscious never put you in real danger, rather he was just your mind trying to help you. Huh. That's cool. And we got some cookies. Cookie, cookie, cookies. They're like, oh, I don't, Hero Brown, you don't deserve a cookie. Give me that back. Yeah, take the book. You don't deserve that. Here, you can have a cookie. Oh, thank you for the command block. You can have a cookie. You don't want a cookie? You can have a cookie. Douglas, you don't want a cookie strike? Okay. I guess you don't want a cookie. Oh, oh, I took your head off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Put it back. I'm sorry. No, put your shirt back on. Okay. Let's, so here is, oh, it shows you the map. All of the work that was done. I guess I'm not allowed to break it. Have no hands. Okay, so that's where we were. Well, that was the minor map. I really enjoyed it. It was a cool story and a quick little map. So if you enjoyed and would like to see more, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you aren't already. I'll talk to you all later. Bye!